folks, so. Uh, I hope you're all having a wonderful day out there. I'm having a good day today. So, uh, now that everybody has seen the uh, Rumble Aftermath show, I want to talk about my personal trip uh, going forward. Had a lot of things on my mind lately. Uh, some changes I want to make uh, with my very own personal, you know, 50 pound rumble journey. Uh, now that we have established <laughs> that the rumble is between you and the 50 pounds you're trying to lose, and, you know, I get into the maintenance club, you know, and like I say, you know, people may have more than 50 pounds to lose, and, and my suggestion is to uh, rejoin the rumble. Uh, for another 50 pounds until you get to your goal uh, and uh, yeah when you get to your goal that's when you well, that's when we hit the maintenance club so the 50 pound rumble can just turn into the weight loss rumble whatever that's what it's about so uh, for me going forward I want to reach uh, uh, more people you know like I did in the beginning of all of this uh, for the first of the year uh, especially folks like big country he's my friend and uh, I can remember when uh, when he first started watching me you know he's evolved since those days just like the rest of us I mean he's probably evolved in a way that he doesn't even see for himself but I see it uh, and I know all of you do too so I can remember back around early spring and, and you know you got to think I went through a lot uh, back then you know with the going through the wife stuff uh, health related and stuff like that I remember a time when I was doing the ADF, the alternate day fast, and on my feeding days, I was pretty much eating what I wanted to uh, as a two man. Now, I was watching back through some of that video footage last night, and I kind of saw my own mistakes in what I was doing uh, then, as far as eating the two meals a day. I was just, just probably way overdoing it. But through the ADF, I had a lot of success. A lot of success. And uh, I could eat what I wanted and just alternate day fast. So I was thinking about doing that again. You know, giving that another tree out. Because uh, in my video, I also said I may explore the option of doing it again at some point. So here we are at that some point. So, uh, back then I was eating a lot of uh, steak finger plates and stuff like that, which is fine, you know, I, but I, I should have limited uh, something like that to an OMAD, something that greasy and calorie dense to an OMAD, and uh, I'd have probably, you know, just continued on that route, you know, for a while. Um, But I'm thinking about, no, I, I ain't thinking about it. That is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start alternate day fasting. And on my eating days, I'm going to eat what I want. But I'm going to control it a little more. Because I do have 100 pounds to lose by the end of the year. And uh, I want my diet to be fun again. The chicken and broccoli was about weight loss. And I had fun... Uh, I didn't have fun with the food necessarily, but I had fun doing it to uh, surprise the audience. You know, it was all about surprising the audience. And what I mean by big country has evolved because back when I done ADF, uh, I had said, you know, he had he had mentioned something in one of the videos. 
or one of his videos, I think, uh, that he couldn't uh, do that. That uh, if the diet wasn't fun for him, then he, he wasn't going to stick to it. I mean, some of those things hit home with me, and it caused me to make changes, you know, to try to get him to make changes as well. And through that, he made those changes. So, uh, I want to, you know, specifically challenge Big Country. He says, he challenged me to a 50-pound rumble. <laughs> See what you started? Look at what you caused, man. Look at what you built. This is all your fault. <laughs> but, you know, there might... I want to challenge you to an ADF. If you can eat four bags of broccoli and follow me on that, you can do an ADF, brother. And then on your eating day, uh, you can do, you know, I plan on doing a lot of Subway. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie because I want to lose the 100 pounds. But there's going to be days, you know, that I eat Bojangles. Uh, some fried chicken, you know. Even some KFC. Anywhere that you can lift, that list your calorie amounts, you know, you can keep up with it. Just don't go over 17 or, or 15 would be a safer bet on those days. And, and just eat what you want. I mean, even if you do go over your calorie amounts, at least you have the alternate day fast to fall back on. If you could eat 17 bags of broccoli and get constipated following my crazy self, you can do an ADF. <laughs> so that's the challenge I got for you. It's my turn to bring out a challenge. So today, I'm going to eat. And, and, and you know, this is going to cause weight loss. Mind you, this is going to bring on bring upon weight loss. Uh, and it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun again. Uh, I understand that back then you were in your evolutionary thought process on how you were going to do diet and, and different things and stuff. And uh, skipping an entire day might not have sounded so bad might have sounded like a terrible thing after eating about six bags of broccoli <laughs> I'm pretty sure you think that sounds like a good idea about right now <laughs> now it is hard I'm not gonna lie to you that getting through that one day is hard but it's so rewarding when you get to the next day and if that ain't your cup of tea you know, you could uh, stick to your 15 to 1700 calories, and there is a such thing as an alternate day fast where people eat uh, 500 calories and under. So that would definitely be easily be, you know, uh, a half a sub, or, or if you got the right sub from Subway, you know, it'd be, uh, it, it could be a whole sub, depending on what you got. But I know you like you. I know you like your Chinese food. I know you like your Chester's, and uh, you know there, there is a website where you can kind of keep up with those type of things as well, called the Calorie King, and they even sell books. Calorie King sells books at bookstores, and you can get it. And they update it every year, or at least they used to. I know uh, I got one at home from 2009. Um, So I'm thinking, you know, that this might be something you might want to try or give thought to. Uh, and there's, like I said, there's there's several different ways to do it. I'm just driving around in circles, y'all. Just driving around in circles. I'm supposed to be heading toward the house, but I'm up here where I just dropped my daughter off for school. Driving around in circles. Talking about this with you. So, uh, I'm going to eat today. Whatever the heck I want to. You ain't heard me say that in a while. It ain't going to be chicken and broccoli. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about the rumble because I'm going to get there before the end of this year. Um, I'm kind of letting uh, the competition go to uh, Miss Angie. She uh, definitely earned it on her protocol. I want to reach out and I want to help other people 
uh, the way I've helped myself. And uh, there's a lot of people out there who uh, just enjoy regular food and they need to know a way of eating that food because they're not going to give it up. And uh, I just want to know that there's a way you can eat that food, but you still have to do some sort of restriction. That's just all there is to it. Uh, and, and you know, if you're going to eat that type of food, it may come to a point where it's going to take a little more than just a 16-8. You might have to put in a little more effort on an alternate day fast, whether that be an entire, an entire uh, day of skipping food on to the next day, which is what I plan on trying to implement mostly. You know, and, uh, it, and, it, and you got to keep in mind, if you get to a point where you can't handle that, you know, you got that 500 calories you can play with that idea as well. So, I want to reach out to all the other latchkeys and the big countries of the world who uh, need this type of advice, this type of uh, reasoning, this type of motivation to uh, lose weight. Uh, it can motivate you into doing other things, especially in a group like ours where there's so many different choices out there. Because if they're going to be watching me, they're going to stumble upon you too. You guys too. Uh, because I am not going to go by without letting your names and channels and voices roll off of my tongue. And that's going to be an ongoing thing, but... Uh, I want to get back to my roots. I miss it. I miss it. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Uh, so, this 50 pound rumble started off as a uh, crazy competition between me and Big Country. It has evolved into its own thing and it's ever evolving. It's getting better as it goes along. Uh, I'm just not worried about being the winner of it anymore. I want to inspire the way I have inspired people all along. Uh, and uh, some of those people need, they need, to eat a, they need to eat a bowl of spaghetti every now and then. They might need some cheeseburgers and french fries to pull this off. Uh, it can be done through calorie restriction. I am living proof of that. I lost my first 70 pounds of weight doing it that way. So, what can I say? What can I say? Uh, I can contribute, what, 10 pounds to chicken and broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you heard me. Uh, this is how I plan on going forward. Going to do the ADF for a little while. Try that on. Uh, like I said in earlier, that uh, had success on it. Uh, I really, really didn't focus uh, on my eating days. You know, the uh, calorie amounts and stuff like that. I just kind of ate a two med of whatever the heck I wanted, and uh, and by the end of that, you know, I, that kind of creeped back up on me a little bit. But that was due to. Uh, that was due to my own doings, not uh, because the diet didn't work or anything. Uh, it it definitely it would definitely work. This is something that is kind of sustainable. People have uh, done this type of thing for months. Uh, there's people out there doing it uh, as a part of their uh, YouTube channels uh, on the regular. So. This is how I want to go about going forward. And. Uh, I'd like to see uh, Big Country at least give it a good old tree out and uh, see if it uh, offers him some results as well. Uh, because, uh, you know, uh, I know he likes to uh, eat the way I do, and uh, this is a way you can do that and lose weight. Uh, losing weight is all about restriction anyway. I don't care what you're doing. Uh, I've always said I don't care what protocol you got in place. Uh, there's some restriction going on there and there's some there's some calories going on within those protocols as well You can look up your own calories in in your own daily intakes and uh, And figure that out. I, I have uh, actually done that 
with uh, some of the things that y'all claim that y'all eat have looked into y'all's calorie amounts and uh, adjusted accordingly to go under that in order to uh, uh, lose weight that's exactly how I did the chicken and broccoli that's exactly what I did um, uh, the only thing that can beat that is uh, zero calorie you know for days at a time uh, You know that's uh, that's that's like a kind of a you know there's there's a big advantage to doing that. Let's be real, okay? Uh, when you're doing long fasting hours, like let's just say I done long fasting hours. If I was to do that, and trust me, I can do that with my hands tied behind my back if I chose to. I just choose not to. If I done that. Uh, I actually have some advantages uh, as far as weight loss goes. Uh, I'm still kind of heavy in places, you know, that uh, still need to, you know, uh, come down, uh, especially in the stomach area, which has gone down a lot and continues to go down. Um, but being a being a being a man in general, you know, uh, gives me a 30% advantage uh, uh, doing that. Uh, uh, not my statistics, you know. Don't shoot the messenger boy here. Uh, that's just the way. That's just the way it is. Uh, I looked into the, the, the statistics of it, and you can do that as as well. It's it's information readily available all over the place, you know, all over the all over the place. But uh, yeah, I, I just want to. Uh, I just want to do it this way and uh, eat what I want, finish the way I started. Uh, I learned a few things this week. I have evolved a little. Um, I think it's very important not to compromise your message even in the face of competition. And uh, that's kind of what I've done as of late, uh, you know, getting a little too competitive. Uh, so, you know, as 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 the competition has evolved into its own thing, uh, it's kind of like uh, your individual, the rumble is your individual battle within your own uh, 50 pounds of weight loss. That's it. Nothing more. Ain't going to be nothing more. It's, it's, it's just going to be that. Uh, Never, never compromise your message in the face of competition. Uh, lesson learned, and I'm just glad it's not too late uh, to turn that around. Because it turns around starting right now. Because uh, I went out with my wife to one of our favorite mom and pops today. Uh, we went in there, you know, and we sat down to have us a lovely meal and uh, you know this is the place where I got the famous uh, steak fingers I didn't get steak fingers because I'm not eating red meat for reasons that you know uh, I got the chicken fingers and I got some french fries and I got some onion rings and some coleslaw and uh, you know I sat down and you know made me a, a chicken finger and onion ring sandwich with a little barbecue sauce on there and uh boy did i enjoy every bit of it nothing about it was keto friendly <laughs> uh figure if i'm going to uh go a full day without eating tomorrow like a full 48 hours then uh yeah i deserve to eat whatever the heck i wanted without consequence so went and got me some banana pudding too maybe i might have just overdone a little bit yeah this is a 48 hour fast y'all uh this is going to be hard so i wanted to go into it you know strong so you know i had to have some banana pudding uh oh did i forget the trigger warning sorry <laughs> sorry but uh this is me this is the way i always roll and this is the way i'm going to continue to roll and uh I want to finish strong and it, you know if it comes to it uh, if it's getting close to December and I need to restrict even heavier then I will do so to get this uh, last 20 pounds off uh, no problem I'll do whatever it takes even if I have to start doing 72 hour fast myself 
But that is all about my goal for the year, the accomplishment that I set out to achieve by January 1st next year. And uh, I will achieve that no matter what. But I want to try to achieve it this way through ADF first. The firstest. <laughs> And uh, that is what I plan to do going forward. And I want to take you along with me, big country. Challenge. Challenge. I challenge you. <laughs> I double dog dare you. I triple dog dare you. <laughs> Dang it, I dropped my mouth. Oh no, the batteries came out. God dang it. What'd you do that for, T.O.? Man, what's wrong with you? Look at there. All right, folks. This is my challenge, my issue to big country. Till tomorrow, you folks have a good one.